In question 16, it can be reasoned that the x value of 12.5 is 0 0.5 greater than the mean of 12. And as the standard deviation is 0 0.25, this gap of 0.5 corresponds to a z-score of 2. In other words, our answer will be E. This reasoning is equivalent to using the z-score formula, i.e. z equals 12.5 minus 12 divided by 0 0.25 or 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 giving that value of 2. Question 17. The b hat value given 3 sixteenths is the same as a count of 3 out of 16. If we let x represent the number of red blocks in a sample of 16, then our probability p hat greater than or equal to 3 sixteenths is equal to the probability of x being greater than or equal to 3 and we know that x will be distributed binomially with n equals 16 and p equals 0 0.2. This probability can be calculated on the class pad. And this value is closest to answer A. Question 18 can be answered by solving the following equation. The integral from 3 pi to A of a quarter cos of x over 2 is equal to root 3 plus 2 over 4 given that a is between 3 pi and 5 pi. This equation can be solved on our class pad. With that entered, we can select the solve command. And we have our answer 14 pi over 3. In question 19, an expression for e of x can be found by multiplying each x value by its probability and summing. This will give us e of x equals minus a plus b squared plus 4b squared plus 0 0.8, which can be simplified to 5b squared minus a plus 0 0.8. Because there's a subtraction of a, e of x will be smallest when a is largest. From our table, we can see that these values here could all be 0, which would make a 0 0.8. And so, the minimum value of e of x is when b equals 0 and a equals 0 0.8. And this has a value of 0 minus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8, which equals 0. 
Using a similar logic, the maximum value of e of x will occur when a equals 0. And this means that 4b equals 0 0.8, so b equals 0 0.2. This would give us maximum expected value So that will be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8, which is 1. And therefore our minimum value is 0, and our maximum value is 1, giving us an answer E. In question 20, the transformation T can be written like x prime equals minus x, and y prime equals 3y plus 5. From this, or by looking at the original transformation, we can see that it comprises of a reflection in the y-axis, a dilation by a factor of 3 from the x-axis, and a transformation of 5 units in the y-direction. So if we started with a function that looked something like this, it had an area of 5, and the reflection in the y-axis will bring us to here. The dilation by a factor of 3 would give an area of 15 and the transformation of 5 units would mean we had an area of 15 translated up 5 adding in a rectangle with an area of 3 by 5 or 15. In other words, giving us a total area of 15 plus 15, which is 30. Another way to see this is to approach it algebraically. From the information provided, we can write down that g of x is equal to 3 times f of minus x plus 5. And we want to study the integral from minus 3 to 0 of g of x. Now that'll be equal to the integral from minus 3 to 0 of 3 by f of minus x plus 5 dx. Can bring the 3 outside of the integral. and integrate the 5 separately. And this will give us 3 by the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x plus the integral from minus 3 to 0 of 5 is 15. 3 fives giving us 3 times 5 plus 15 which equals 30.